Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing Sun and Seven acrylics. Now, I have a bunch of their lacquers. Those are right here. They're in a separate type jar, a glass jar. A lot of them are kind of, uh, kind of like all clad, that super thin metallic. They have opaques and everything, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to review it because I have so many of these colors. But I think I'm going to go with uh, maybe we'll break down like I did the Gaia, all their golds, because they have a bunch of golds, a bunch of silvers. And I think I'm going to go that route with those. But they also have this lineup of acrylics. I'm not a big acrylic fan, but I know a lot of you guys are. And a lot of you guys use them exclusively. And I'm always in search of a good acrylic, particularly in the, I guess, like this, like these metal colors, you know. As it seems, acrylics have a hard time replicating a nice silver, a nice gold. Um, my favorite acrylics so far are Vallejo's um, Game Air. Or model airline, particularly the new ones. But um, again, not a lot of metallics. I'm a big metallic guy, and uh, but that's just me. But I got a little bit of a of their range here. There's a ton of colors to choose from. They're out of stock constantly. Some at one point these were all out of stock here in the U.S. And I, I didn't even want to do the review a month ago because you, you couldn't get them. Um, USA Gundam so carries them here in America. Um, has a bunch of these in now. Again, it might be half and half at this point. So I took a little bit of, of uh, what I have here, and I think I'll, I'll show you. I will show you these sprayed on. Now these can't be brushed on. I did brush one on off scene. I will show you that in a minute. But uh, you can see it says water-based spray series, and uh, they mean it. They uh, these are oh, a kind of a translucent paint, but they need to be sprayed and not brushed. And um, I took this green and I brushed it on and let it dry here. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. And what is this color? Let's see. Bottle green. There we go. Bottle green. That's actually a popular green color. Um, so, yeah, right here, this isn't hardly anything in, as far as the entire lineup goes, but it's a variety. They do a lot of metallics, which is rare for an acrylic, and this is the reason why I did want to check them. This is rusty iron, metal blue green, and I think these are the two I'm going to spray on camera. And these pearl colors have to go over black. So this is uh, pearl black, topaz gold. You can kind of see the gold in the reflection, kind of like the GX paints from Mr. Color. Diamond silver, there we go. That just looks like white till it goes on black. Uh, Star Knight blue, interested in any of the deep blues. That seems to be the popular color. Copper, this is an opaque, right? I just showed that. Bottle green. Uh, metallic color, pure gold, there we go, pure gold, uh, just gold, you see all the pigments are kind of all separated there, look at the top, the bottom's kind of chunky, these are kind of a budget paint I would say, I'll show you in a minute what bothers me about them, starlight silver, gotta try the starlight, everybody's trying to copy Gaia, uh, yeah, a lot of the labels have come off, and uh, it says metallic foil, and uh, while it's pretty good, it seems to hold up to paint and spills and fingerprints. They don't, they don't like the plastic for which it's on. I had to push a bunch of these on, and I come up in the morning, and they're all hanging off like this. So I guess I'm going to have to tape these on. And uh, the print is just so microscopic, and it's all in different languages. Nothing's really in English as far as uh, my language goes. But you can see how it separates really poorly, and you really got to shake them up. But... Uh, yeah, well, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to do two of these colors on camera. The rest I'll show off. I'll spray the rest of these off camera, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to do a good old spoon test, and uh, I hope these, these look good because uh, there's not many metallics in an acrylic form out there. Um, so I am hoping for that. There goes Hawks. Get over there, Hawks. All right, so we got a couple cups, and uh, we're not going to thin these a lot. We're going to use this acrylic thinner again. I had some good luck with this. I've gotten, look how much I've used it. Wow. I've gotten this, I got this on uh, Amazon recently, and uh, they also have a flow improver by the same brand. But just the thinner is fine. Um, I shook a bunch of these up off camera on my Typhoon paint rack below the bench, but let's go ahead and try some mixing on my 4Es. Don't lose it. There we go. I can hear it mixing up better this way. I can hear the paint 
bouncing around in the jar there. Let's try this one. You flip it over once. Go this way. It should be good. What is this? Metal blue green? That sounds great. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, this thing is heavy. Get that out of the way. All right, let's see how these come out and what consistency they are. Oh, these are kind of thin. Yeah, I might, uh, I might airbrush, airbrush. I might airbrush this straight. Look at this, guys. Yeah, that should push through. We'll use my Barbatos uh, Swallowtail airbrush for this. But I think we can spray that straight out of the jar. Let's try the other one. I'm getting this paper towel. Look how messy this stuff is. Look at this. Look at that. Yuck. All right. Look at that. Well, let's see if this metal blue is uh, thin like that one. Who knows? No, the metal blue isn't. All right. Beautiful color, though. Whoa. Yeah, that's going to be thinned a little bit, but that is a beautiful color. I want that in my lineup. I'll go over some details on my new paint line at the end of the video, so uh, stick around for that. This we're going to put straight in the airbrush. Uh, I think we'll go with the uh, go with the fan cap number five swallowtail. We we'll use that. Oh, I'm going to mention my uh, holders, my stands here from uh, Frank, my buddy Frank Rowland, who made these for me and is making them for anybody who wants to order them. They're for sale now. Check that out. He also has them for his other, hold on, let me reach behind me, for the other airbrushes in the line. You can probably use it for probably any airbrush, but he has them custom named there. And, uh, yeah, if you had trouble getting my, uh, here we go, my stand here, then you got this one right here. I will put his website in the description below. Um, I'll list it as an airbrush stand. And I'll put the link below. So check out Frank. If you want one, you tell him what you want. And to work out the shipping and the cost with you. And, um, yeah, thanks, Frank. These things uh, come in handy. I use them every day now. And uh, much appreciated. Um, all right, so we're going to put this straight in the airbrush. But what we're going to do now, I think, is what we're going to do is we're going to just thin it and show you how thin we want this. Not, It's not super molasses thick. So we'll go with a little bit. What was that, 10 drops or so? Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's good. You want that milk-like consistency? You can see it right there. I'm going to drag it up the side. It'll stream down and leave a little bit of the pigment behind on the cup. And we are good to go. Watch my other video I did recently on uh, how to thin your acrylics and your lacquers. And I go over it there. That should be ready to go. That is a beautiful color. Boy, I want that in my uh, paint line. And, uh, all right, so let's head over to the booth, which is uh, this away. We'll take the swallowtail. Look at that. It holds the cup perfect. I can actually pour the paint right in. Excellent. All right. All right, we'll see you at the booth, and uh, we'll see how this stuff sprays. And then we'll go over all the colors at the end. And uh, stay tuned to the very end, because we're going to go over some more colors with uh, what I happen to be working on for my paint line, um, which happens to be, of course, a solvent paint line. But first things first. Let's check this paint out. All right, here we are at the Pace Spray Booth. We're going to put it straight in. It should be fine. This uh, airbrush of mine seems to push a lot of paint out pretty easily. Oh, yeah, that, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's try this. You know what, I can kind of see the sheen to the metallic to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just blow it with some air. Just air is coming out. Compressor is coming on. Looks like it's drying pretty quickly. Oh, it's a very nice looking copper. Is that what this is? Burnt iron. All right. Is that burnt iron? Rusty iron. All right. I don't know. I think it's just copper. I think I got the color wrong. All right, we're drying it off again. Again, 
Just air. That's why the compressor's on constantly. Here we go again. I think we're going to go in with the, the wet coat here. Yep, there we go. We'll see how that dries. It is pretty good looking. All right. All right, let's clean this out. We'll see how that dries. I'll go grab that uh, good looking blue and we'll see how that does. We'll put the blue on two colors. Put on the black and see if we can get a nice shade of blue out of it. So let me go put this in the dehydrator. We'll be right back. All right, next up is, what was it called? Metal Blue Green. A color right after my own heart. I love this type of color. All right, let's put a nice mist coat here on the white. All right. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like over black. Much more like it. Okay, we're going to go dry this off with the... Uh, technique that I use when I airbrush a tricky acrylic so you get that beating up effect and um, you go lighter in your coating and then what you do is you do this dry like the flash dry which is what I'm doing here I'm drying it off each layer with a nice light coating um, if you see my video it's the same technique I use for all of my acrylics Clear off, uh, dry off the black here. I'm doing this in real time to show you how long it actually takes me. Now you want to do a bunch of light la layers when you're doing a specialty kind of metallic like this. And the last layer is when you're going to go ahead and put it on with that wet look. And dry it again. Go in for the look, the look, the wet look. Yep. It is a beautiful looking green. I'm going to go put that in the dehydrator. Oh, I'm out of paint here. i got to load this up. Yep, i got to go load this up. I might make it. Here we go. Not bad. Now, this stuff looks weird now, and then it dries really nice from what I've learned so far, airbrushing it, uh, you know, before I came here to the bench. And... Uh, Get the rest of them done. But let me go put these in the uh, dehydrator. I'll meet you back at the bench. We'll go over all the ones uh, that you saw there on the bench. And uh, we'll check the results. All right. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, I told you they dry much nicer um, than, you, than they go on. This is... Well, I've got both of them here. This is the uh, metal blue-green. I do like this kind of blue. And it's actually more green here, off camera. I wish you could see the difference, but it's, these LED lights play tricks. It's more green in person. This is the uh, Rusty Iron. Really nice. I mean, it, it's smooth. You know, it still has a pl uh, blotchiness to it that I'm not crazy about, but about a foot away, it looks perfect. All right, let's see what else we have here. All right, this was pearl black. Now, this is a cool color, but I'm going to show you what I mean by the splotchies. See, it's got like a splotchiness to it, but look at it from here. It's such a cool color. I'd like to replicate some of these colors in my upcoming lineup. I got to tell you, and um, I'm not crazy about the splotchies. You know what I'm trying to see it? It looks like, a, looks like my refrigerator. This is over primer. This is over gloss black still pretty unique colors for an acrylic I gotta say this was topaz pearl gold here's the real oh, the splotches are bad on this oh look at this I should have coated this again that's not good much better on here this is the actual look of it right here this is over black what is this one diamond silver All right diamond silver this is over white I want to see what it looked like basically you're getting a pearl with a little bit of a blue highlight when the white hits it but here is the blue silver here very cool color again it's almost perfect it just has a texture to it that makes them all kind of look the same you know see it 
Oh, it's a great color. Blue silver. These are awesome colors. What is this one? Star Knight Blue. Oh, this is like the black and blue. Look at that. Real nice. Now, again, it didn't come out good over the flat black primer. It's got that weird texture. It's smooth, by the way. It just looks like that when it dried. I guess if I go over it again with another hit, it'll come out good. This is over a black plastic shiny spoon. And this is what we got. Pretty nice. This is a really good color. Right up there with mine. Black and blue and uh, there's Gaia. Gaia's over here. Here it is. Here's the Gaia. Not quite Gaia, but pretty cool. That's a cool color. I like that one. All right, copper, what I did off camera. Now, I thought this was the same thing, and it's not. That's rusty iron. Now, when I hold them up together, I can really see the difference. I wouldn't have called this rusty iron. I would have just called it rust. But here's the copper. It's over white, over black. Pretty nice. Again, it's got that texture I'm not crazy about, but from a foot away, it's really nice. And it lays down really good. Not like a... It's got a semi-gloss to it. And most acrylics I use are, are flat. So that's pretty unique in and of itself too. This is the green, bottle green. This is it sprayed. Now, this is kind of a translucent green. I've got to tell you. It was uh, took a few layerings. And this is it brushed. I put it in a cup and brushed it on. And this is two coats. So it has to be airbrushed. It's very rough feeling. Can you hear it? And... Um, yeah, it, it, you can tell it's an airbrush paint. It's the reason why it says spray paint on the, every single jar. Because look at the difference once I sprayed it. Again, it's still, if you look closely, it's got the splotchies. See it? All right, which one is this? Pure gold. All right, this is over a white, or this is over primer gray, black plastic. Not bad. That's a good looking acrylic gold, I have to say. Again, it does have that texture. I'm not going to bring it up again, but it. But from here, pretty good looking. Really good looking foil looking gold. It's particularly over the black plastic. Oops. Hit the camera again. This one is just gold. If I sprayed this on a bunch. I'm going to see what kind of result I would get. Let me get this out of the way. So this is gold over black. This is my favorite one of theirs as far as quality went. This one just laid out beautifully. It came out nice. This is over white. It's a little different. Then I sprayed it. This is a gray primer. You see how it gets dull over the gray primer? But this, for some reason, this gold was one of their better colors. And I'm not quite sure why, but they got the formula right in this gold. Look at that. That is a really good acrylic gold, I do have to say. And what was on the end here? Starlight Silver. I was trying to grab that name from Gaia. And there it is over black. This one's no, this don't look good at all either. It's got that stupid splotch look to it. You know, this one looked like that when I put it in the dehydrator. It had the splotch look, but it didn't come out that bad. It looks really nice. Look at it. Let's hold all of them up. One's over white, over gray, white, and in the middle is over black. That's their Starlight Silver. Not even close to Gaia. I'm sorry, guys. You know, over black, though, is a pretty nice-looking acrylic silver. Not bad. But that doesn't compare to uh, Gaia at all, my most recent silver test. But, yeah, I do like this quite a bit. I do like the black-based gold. I think that's a really good-looking acrylic paint right there. And I do like some of the colors. I mean, a blue silver here is just a beautiful color. This black pearl is a beautiful color. Um, the black and blue, I call it that. What's it called? Star Night Blue. That's a that's a nice color. And these coppers, and I call them both coppers. These are really nice. So hey, not too bad, not bad. Um, I'm gonna put a link below where I got these. I got them at uh, USA ha uh, Gundam Store here in America, but uh, I think you can get them on AliExpress, and they have a bunch of them. And believe it or not, they ship pretty reasonably, pretty cheap too, and you get them kind of fast. So the paint is pretty low priced. The shipping's pretty good. If you if you guys only work with acrylics, you know you don't have many choices, particularly when these nice different looking metallics. Um, I guess that's your your place to go if if uh, USA is out of them. It takes a long time for them to restock these. And um, forgive me if you go to look for certain colors and they're gone because these things 
don't know if they took them in in large amounts, but they seem to come and go really quick. And um, it takes them a long time to restock them. So forgive me uh, if you go looking for these and they're not there. Um, I will put AliExpress's link up too. They do have them. And um, I bought some stuff recently from AliExpress and it came pretty good. So uh, I will say you can, you can shop there. I, uh, I can vouch. Uh, anyway, that is it for these. Now before I go... I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. We're going to part the Red Sea here. Because I'm going to show you some colors I am working on. Give me one second. All right. As you guys have seen in my community section, this is an anodized metal color. This is lime, a type of lime green. It's actually, it's actually a pearlescent metallic beautiful color and then I sprayed my candy I also have a candy line coming out candy green on top and I got that isn't that awesome so that's what these are going to be you can leave it alone like this or put a candy on top it works as a base for a candy also they're going to be a dual purpose paint this is a blue I am working on look at that you can see it has that metallic look to it I haven't put any clear blue on top of this yet but I'm going to um, this is a burnt iron. I, I call it burnt iron. Oh, I got chipped. Look at that. Isn't that a great black? I have one second here. Oh, there's another one. Not as beat up. I want your opinion on this. This is a super dark green. Can you see this? How dark is that green? You can see the green in it if you look carefully. And this is a mega dark blue. So you can see the green. You can see the tone right there. The green and the blue. Those are two we are working on. This is a really dark blue. What do you guys think of this? Everything got chipped, but that's where I stuck. Uh, I stuck it in storage. Look at that. Is that too dark of a blue? I think it's a uh, night, uh, some kind of midnight, uh, some kind of blue. I got to look up what I have written down for it. Is that too dark? So you guys let me know, because here's the other one, you know, that's oh, the green. There we go, see that? This might be the way to go. If I'm going for a really dark blue, I want to do a light and a dark version of everything. I have a dark green, I have a lighter green, uh, all kinds of stuff. I have a, a dark red, a light red, then I test them out when I put a candy on top. So anyway, that is where we stand. That is the type of colors that I am working on. I'll have a full new line of lacquer paints coming out, hopefully within two months. And um, I'm pretty excited. I'm trying to get some feedback on some colors, and that's why I wanted to show you guys, guys those before I said goodbye. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. I want you guys to please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, as we try to do multiple videos a week as the testing will go on. I will put a link for my airbrush for the stand and uh, gallery is also having a sale I believe up to 35 percent off free shipping on everything uh, that sale might be coming to an end but I'll put a link below take you right to the main page of the website and they also have that beautiful beautiful uh, 300 piece limited dual airbrush set for the year of the dragon that I showed in the previous video uh, anyway, guys, that is all for now. I want to say God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best. The camera keeps focusing. i got a new camera here. So, <laughs> Anyway, guys, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you all in the next video.